FBA right now. Joining us this morning, we are talking to Miss Jamie Chung. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Big J. You know that's my nickname, right? Is it really? Yes, it is. You stole my nickname. I don't know why they call me Big J, but you know. Yeah, you would not think that that would be a uh, nickname for an attractive woman. <laughs> nope. That's, it sounds like it's a fitting nickname for an overweight radio DJ from Montana. <laughs> I doubt that. I, I love the name Big J. Well, thank anyway. you very much. This is going to go well. I'm telling you right now already. <laughs> so yesterday, we talked to uh, Emily Browning. Oh, who, did you? Yes. She's uh, very awesome as well, and she's in this movie, Sucker Punch, with you. So she explained to her character, Baby Doll, and kind of the whole story behind her character. Who are you in the movie? Well, my character's name is Amber, and she's sweet and loyal and naive and a bit timid in the beginning. And then Baby Doll comes along with this crazy plan of escape and freedom. And, you know, she, she finds her strength, and she kind of comes into her own. But unlike any other girl, she's the pilot. She has the eye in the sky, and, you know, she's always there to swoop up the girls after, after we complete a mission. So oh, something cool. different for me. I really liked it. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. It seems like, uh, I mean, you do a lot of acting, but this is like... Uh this is action-packed. Was this your first real kind of, I mean, fighting and guns and swords and airplanes type movie? Well, you know, I've done I've done a bit of action before, but nothing to this caliber. I mean, the the amount of training that we did, and you know, the weapons training, and then off to dance rehearsals, and it was just all over the place, and. It was, you know, challenging in so many different ways, but so rewarding. Was there a lot of it? I mean, obviously, I'm guessing you didn't have actual dragons when you shot this movie. So was a lot of it CGI after oh the fact gosh. where you were kind of acting it out just like in a, in a room with a green screen or something? Exactly. Well, I was, I, was in, I was in the cockpit most of the time. So it was like a quarter of a vessel and everything else is green screen. And it's just me and Zach. All the girls are off filming something else, you know, because it, even though we're supposed to be in the same place, it's shot separately. Duh, and, you just ruined like, it for yeah, everybody. I'm to your left, and I'm like, oh no! And he's like, look over your right shoulder, and then you know, machine guns, and it, it was just crazy. That's awesome. But it required a lot of imagination. But. Yeah, definitely. Is that more of a struggle? Do you think than acting like with other actors there, where you're just reacting to what they do, or is it uh, easier because you can kind of make it up in your head and don't have to rely on somebody else? Or are they equal? Oh my gosh! You know, they're they're both challenging in different ways, but I, I would have to say it's harder acting with green screen because, you know, the elements aren't there for you to react off of. And also, it's just you screaming in this cockpit and, you know, you kind of have to get over the fact, like, you may come off as a bit crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're going to show the behind-the-scenes footage of just you sitting in this little oh, capsule God, yelling at stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some other big news that I wanted to talk to you about as well is... You are in uh, The Hangover 2, which is yes. going to be the biggest movie in the history of mankind. And oh, man. I'm so excited. It comes out in May, and, you know, it's pretty pretty awesome to have two movies back-to-back, and both so different. You know, Sucker Punch, action-adventure with five girls. You know, it's all about girl power. And then you have the Wolf Pack. Yes. You know, the super-exclusive group of, of men and... I don't know. It was it was really fun working with them. You play uh, Ed Helms's fiance in the movie. Uh, do you have a? Is it a pretty significant role, or do you kind of just pop up here and there? Yeah, you know, it's it really is about the adventure of these guys. But the reason why the reason why we head to Thailand is because um, Stu's fiance uh, is Thai American and decides to have um, you know a destination wedding. Mm -hmm. That's and, awesome. And you know, a lot of her family is incorporated into the story as well. But it's it's definitely the original the original Wolf Pack, which is nice. Were you a, a huge fan of the uh, the first Hangover when they asked you to do this one? Are you kidding me? I I was <laughs> when I found out about Hangover Two, I was in Boracay, Philippines. I was on my vacation, and my manager calls me the next day and is like, you know, you have to come back to LA. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to come back to LA. I just got here. It took me 24 hours to fly here. And she's like, no, it's for Hangover Two. Todd Phillips. I was like, all right. I'm coming back. Yeah. So I flew back the next day. That's, but it was worth it. That's awesome. Yeah, I was, I was such a huge fan, too, that it's like, it's one of those movies that's just become so iconic, like with this oh generation, God. that to be a part exactly. of the, the history is so awesome there. Exactly. I mean, it's, so, it's, such a, it's such a fun ride, and it's kind of out of this world, but it's still so grounded in a way. The, the most memorable moment it was when Ed Helms wakes up, and it's on a shaky cam, like... I believe he's holding it himself, mm -hmm. and he's kind of walking around, like, disorientated, and I'm sure everyone's had that moment, you y know? Yeah. 
of like waking up the next morning not remembering what happened. Going, what the heck did I do? Exactly. I love to give uh, advice to people who are far more successful than me because I think that they need it. And I would say some career advice for you. You should hook up with Zach Galifianakis. Oh, man. You know, he's taken. Can't he's, go there. Oh, man. That's not... This is Hollywood, Jamie. <laughs> Oh, wow. You don't worry about that. He's got a beard. He's always available. People with beards oh. don't follow the same rules as the rest of us. Oh, wow. You know, I'll just tell him that. Exactly. Or, I'll you know what? tell him that. I'm like, we need to be together because Big J said it's okay to have multiples. Exactly, because you have a beard. And uh, also, Bradley Cooper is not taken anymore as well. I don't know if you heard that, so maybe uh, that would also be a good career move. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm so intimidated. He, like, he, he just stared, just like... Having like his regular glance melts women, like literally. That's what I've heard. I've heard interviews with him. There. Uh, yeah, women say that like right when he walks in, or they take a picture with him and they put their arm around his waist and feel those abs, and they just Ugh. he's melting women. Yeah, it's he's insane. melting women. He's a superhero, and also uh, I do want to remind people again: Sucker Punch does open this Friday and looks awesome. But you uh, you filmed another movie with uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah, I, I filmed it during the summer and. Um Last summer, and it's supposed to come out, I believe, 2012. That's We're going to cool. have to wait for that one. Yeah, I love Joseph Gordon Levitt, so I just I saw his name on the movie and your name, and I'm like, I already love that movie. Oh, great. And there's also Michael Shannon and Donnie Ramirez, so it's got a really cool, eclectic group of people. Very cool. What an awesome career for you. It's kind of like, I mean, you do a few movies, you get into it, and now all the movies you're doing are so, like you've said, so eclectic, so diverse, yeah. and, uh, and they're big now. You know, you're not doing movies that you have to, like, send your friends links to on Netflix. These are movies people are going to see in the theaters. <laughs> you know, we'd, 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 you know, it's, I don't know. I don't even know what to say to it. It's, it's, I'm so kind of thrown off by it, but I just feel really lucky. And especially coming from, you know, where I came from reality and then, doing yeah. these big movies with fantastic actors. And for people that don't know, when you say come from reality, you were on the uh, the real world back in 04. Yes, and I was. Such a long time ago. You and the uh, the Miz. The Miz has also stepped out of the uh, reality TV stuff, and now he's in uh, fake wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever watch that? Is, is a friend of yours being on that enough to make you watch that crap? I, you know, I, was, I grew up with that stuff. I grew up with the 123 Kid and... Um, I, I forgot the, the other names. Oh, Heartbreak Kid, and I don't know. I, I was a big fan of, of wrestling, and I have seen him on it. He's great. Okay, good. I was. I thought you were going to hate on it. My producer loves it, and so that's why I was trying to get you to say that it sucked. No. He's I, like, ask her about the Miz. I thought it was real until my dad crushed my dreams and said that it was all fake. I was like, there's no way. But the fighting is still real. Have you seen Dave Bautista fight? No. Oh, man, he's amazing. Well, I'll check that out for sure on yeah. on your recommendation. Well, the movie Sucker Punch opens this Friday, and you can see uh, Jamie kick some butt in that. Also, of course, we'll be looking forward to you in uh, The Hangover 2 and everything else in your career. Jamie, you have been fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us, and uh, best of luck, and hopefully we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye, Jamie. Have a good one. Bye, too. The Big J Show, weekday mornings from 6 till 10 on Billings' number one hit music station, Hot 101.9.